about the disruptor place. Okay, look at this though, Liquid have smoke. They've wrapped up and over here. Kuro will uh, run right on through here while the tumble waits back in behind, but the jumper is gonna be mind control. Leads in, Lazo's up highlight eye, but he jumps into his own demise as he gets brought down by Arteezy then and there. Oh, and Looks beyond the hunt. Fly. He gets a good connection there for Kuro. They got the vision, the pounce connected, but okay, okay, there's the vision. They have the dust and that will do it. Highlight eye is not the fastest, but he does carry a lot of detection at all times. Yep, I mean, pop move in and take what is the last remaining Outer towers here from Secret. Yeah, and it seems the Secret want to move in behind as well, looking for anyone they can find, really. Here they come. Arteezy, Puppy and company. Puppy actually going to walk right through two of them. He's going to do my shadow. They don't quite see him. Spin's going to be there now. That's the last one. That's the pullback. There goes the disruption as the highlight die attempts to save his captain while the other side immediately shot down. The Shadow Demon is going to get blasted there from Matama Man. Up and over. Bulba, Arteezy all making chase. On Can the they hunt. get the grab? They want Fata. Fata would be a massive kill. Yes, the the spin. The With that, that means he's not going anywhere. He's going to get shot down. Secret taking two for one swing. Yeah, more playing just kind of run away. He Hero. does have... Oh, connects. Oh. Endy jumps oh. in Starstorm and gets the Tumba Man down. Another Metal beautiful tower. shot. Yeah. Up. He did not expect to die there. He didn't even start morphing at all to strength. I think we're going to learn quickly, like, wait a minute, what? Where is Liquid? Yeah, and their arrow. Oh, oh it's good to have mind control. He actually walked over and into it. Oh, no. Puppy moves in, almost gets taken out of the pilot. He's going to be there to save him. Arteezy eats a full army slash, and he actually gets taken down, too. A trade from both sides, but he's going to be forced to buy back if he wants to commit in for this fight and make it secret favor because the Man is out of control now. Moving in, gets the triple, and a sudden burst flies. Fata even in the mix. Arteezy is back. Has to go into the shadow dance, and he gets glimpses all the way back. Back. Liquid retreat with their winnings, if Lot possible. And be on the front, leaps out. Our Liquid trick looking to make He's chase on him. Boom, blast puppy, hits him over, tracks to go out. Sure can toss, but he's still good. Yeah, they're going to keep chasing, but it's so hard for him to keep chasing a Morphling when they have this low HP on the axe. That's it. Secret can't go any further. Liquid walk away with a big win there. Okay, that looked uh, like it could turn really bad, but maybe coming in, certain teams said, hey, that might look pretty good. And now it's now it's definitely a feared item. And he's just taking in all that sweet love here. Liquid sending in some troops. Scout out what's happening as Secret are trying to make it go. Almost able to burst out Puppy, but can't quite get the finish. He turns back. He wants to get him, but Puppy's able to blink away. Almost too greedy on that one. But Fata's is here, here to help him out. Both Kuro and Fata. He's gonna have to go into the Omni Slash. Bulba pops out the borrow time, and that's gonna be it. No Omni Slash for you. It's not gonna be doing diddly squat to Secret on this one. A desperate glimpse back, but Kuro is not going to get away. It's a disaster right there for Liquid, and they're still staying around. So they want to keep fighting? I don't know if it's the right choice, but Liquid think it is. They're creeping around. They feel like it might be too devastating if Secret happened to move in and finish out this Roche. 15 seconds for Abaddon Ulti. It's a very long, uh, very low cooldown spell. If they can take this. Arrows out. Will miss his mark on the Batrider. Jump in from the top of man. Looking to get the blast oh, up. Yeah. And will get it done. No more borrow time for him. Puppy called. Pulls them back. And uh, we'll hide under the Moonlight Shadow Bulba just now. getting a little bit too brave there when he didn't have it. And that DD rune of Morphling got to go to work on Roche. Oh, instant time. Yeah, he goes right in, but he gets hit right away. But the Tumba Man also going to be caught real low. And Arteezy looks to go to work, but he has to quickly pounce and disengage. But no, Pilot Eye, he shot down immediately. Arteezy wants vengeance, makes his move from the Tumba Man, but he's not going to have any of it. He quickly jumps back and away and towards safety. But MB's right there, puts out the Star Storm. It's not going to be good enough. Arrow to fly, and it's... Way in behind as Matoma Man will wait for him out. Can Envy make chase? Arteezy tries, but he gets glimpsed the hell back and can't continue. Jerex, though, could be in trouble. Envy oh, moving in. The blink, the move, the star storm. One more shot, that does it. Envy now on a mega kill streak, cleaning up that one. This is a crazy game. All the cores are so strong. These four heroes are just under. In. Bulba ends up walking through. They already popped the Lincolns there. Bubby decides to make the move in for the call. Arteezy wants to follow up. Stacks well, going to be dropped right up. there. And because he's pushed out, he's not going to be caught under it. But Tama make it to the arrow and he gets taken down. That means a strong, strong start for Secret is now. They're gonna be get the call on the Fata and they slash him down looking for the dump. They'll get it. Oh, that was a disastrous flame break. A miscommunication going down and they push him out of their static storm. Man, they had the start locked down and he did not have a BKB either, but oh well. But it's not man, going well there. Already has to go for the buyback here. Puppy makes a jump on what he thinks is the top of man, but he's not gonna get that grab. He's a Shotgun blast, but we'll quickly get a heal. And just kind of heal up with Tranquil Boots slowly as well. Seeger begin to make their approach now. Yeah. 
already forcing out that buyback is Radiance almost good enough, but attack. getting damage as well. We're eating a lot of damage there as Envy tried to go for a quick snipe with the help of the E-Blade, but it's not going to be it's good enough to get the finish. Tier 3 almost going down Bulba. Borrow time is going to be forced. Oh, yeah. And Secret may have to pull off, but he glimpse that back into a lasso pullback here for Artesi, and they will be able to oh. burst him down, possibly. No, he gets this shot. hands off. He's going to be leaping away. He's out. He's good. Meanwhile, the Tumble Man is going to be able to sweep in and does get the cleanup there for Bulba, and he will get the cleanup on the Puppy, too. A double kill for the board. Yeah, they're holding Pilot Eye as well. They're chasing him now. Cracked up. Going to be three here, and it could be all three from a Tumble Man. It is triple kill for the board. Some good payback. The Townside is getting three kills in a row on the guy who had buyback penalty. That's not actually good. That's yeah. minus 60% gold. So 60% of the gold from those three kills. Diving against this, this uh, Butterfly Morphling, or Butterfly Juggernaut and E-Blade Morphling, of course. So much right click. Leak would have a smoke now in the pocket of Jarek's here. I'm curious to see if it's something they plan on using now and, and trying to kind of take some momentum back. Looks like it Might could be, be the case, but, but at the at same this. moment, Secret also Moonlight Shadow. They're going to cross paths already. Oh, they jump in. Probably gets a beautiful call to set things up. The arrow's going to fly in as Arteezy makes his move, trying to catch those backliners. Looking to go for Kuroki here. He's locked him down with the Abyssal, and he plans to right click him apart. Meanwhile, on the other side, Mind Control moves in, gets the pullback for Pilot Eye. Omni Slash from Fanta. Hopes to go for the finish, but there's a disruption that helps him in the meantime, but he will end up going down a two for one trade. It looks like here. But Tama Man sees Bulba, looks to focus him. Bulba being sent back. No borrow time means he He's going to get taken down. Triple kill for the Morphling on this one. And Arteezy and Envy are the last two stragglers for Secret. Envy oh. going to be the first target. Get hit with the E-Blade. Get hit with the shot. The adaptive strike. The waveform through. And it's an ultra kill for Matumba Man. And Roshan, he's going to spawn again. Look at that timer. It's so low, Liquid. Look at it. He's going to scout it. Hey, don't leave. Don't leave. Oh, Stay. It's too late. Secret Squad or Quick rolling turns through. Into 5v5 scenario. Okay. Matumba Man's here. Secret posturing in. Could be a bit of a scramble here. They're waiting. There's the waveform. There's the jump shot, but it can quickly jump on the side. Arteezy makes the move. They're going to take Matumba Man's first life out that fast. Mind Control moves in, gets the last of stack for Arteezy, and Fonta begins to go to work, but can't do enough damage yet. He's going to get a little bit of saving there from Bulba as he gets popped to the shield. Fonta now going to get zapped, pulled back in away, and Bulba begins to go to work. While Matumba Man looks to go for the captain, he gets Puppy down in now with a double kill now after taking out Pylai Die. Arteezy in the meantime goes for Kuro, the bounty hunter. He goes right into the vision, makes it back in away. He can't see him. So he's stuck on his own. A Yules is up, a flame break back, and now he tries to go for Mind Control. And he gets the kill here, still has the Shadow Dance. Mind Control forces back in the way, and they continue to kite the little Slark. He's gonna be forced to pounce out. Back in behind Envy. Abaddon Ulti is coming off right now. He gets it off. It's gonna be just in time as they get Fonta down. Oh, and keeps him alive. Envy's fine, pulls on out, but Tumba Man, though, not so good. He gets blasted from Envy with another Dagon kill. I mean, this is just showing exactly display like that. He shouldn't mess with you. The cast of curse is very powerful. It is. You don't want it against you. It is. Here comes Secret. Arteezy lurking. Oh, Puppy! Puppy. It. He gets the blink to call up Mind Control and Jerix. Huge tools, huge killings of Liquid, and then they're both taken out. No buyback for either, and Liquid lose a devastating set of tools for their defense. And it's not over yet. Kuro also going to be put onto the sidelines. He will have a buyback, but the damage may have already been done, Waga. Here comes Secret looking to claim game number one of this two-game series. Yeah, they're in great shape right now. Keep going. Puppy Jump gets in the call. From Puppy gets the call from Matumba Man. There's the follow-up, and there's the takedown. He is out, and this game could be over, as he is not going to be back on the battlefield for at least two minutes. Yeah, and they're all just alive as well. No way you can kill them if you don't have your full squad. Secret, they are going to take down the base right now. Going right for the jugular, but look who's Radiance going to the top lane. It's Fata <laughs> trying to do his own split push. But yeah. I don't think that's going to work, my friend. I'll cheer for you, Fata. Worked some alliance earlier against DG, but I don't think it's going to be working now Radiance against Secret because they got the full team here and they're knocking at your ancient. And if you don't want a GG, they will force you to submit. It is over. Secret take game one, and we are another step towards what could be a crazy tiebreaker situation. That was just amazing team fighting towards the end stages of the game there, Secret. And there were a lot of highlights in this game. Both teams just performing really well. This is what we want to see in such deciding games. And uh, Secret looking pretty clenched with themselves for the first time in a while now. They finally have smoke movement here by Secret, just grouping up a little bit. But mind Control is Invis hanging around this mid lane. A uh, couple uh, NV Terrorblades here. Approach, finally the real one shows himself, and there's going to be the Chrono. 
quick Moonlight Shadow does fly out. Do they have the detection? It might not be necessary oh, to get the thunder. stop, and a quick thunder saps the life right back from Kuro. And Envy, though, is still in trouble. Trying to run back away, get to with the people, and then they make their move. My control will pick up the last hit. Arrow flies, but only catches a creep. Secret will quickly drop to quick to react with the Moonlight Shadow. Oh, yeah. Set up Arrow. And oh. he actually connects with this one. And uh, a reverse caster's curse possibly here, Waga. But my, walk, my control will be able to time walk away. The bulb is not done yet. He actually forces out the chrono. Meanwhile, Meanwhile Puppy goes down. Matumba Man's able to get the snipe on Little Lich there in the mid lane. Yeah, he found two supports, and Lifesteer definitely shreds them really quick. But here comes the cavalry. Oh, arrow just in front of Artesi. Artesi. Smell my timber saw ass, is all he says. He's not going to allow him to pass whatsoever. And just bulldozes right on forward into the base. He is seriously a mech right here. Yeah, he's just chasing him. He knows he has so much armor to work with. He can't really be brought down by the towers alone. Radiance middle but, uh, uh, is this is the push coming here from Envy. So much agility now that the fuse went. Jesus, the damage. Arrow to fly out is so much work, and that is quickly going to be a tier three. Secret, no, they even with the win here. It's not going to get him in the upper bracket, but it will get him into a better position for Liquid. Seeing this one go down means they go down into that lower bracket and into the scary best of one. Yeah, nice stomp here coming in, but they can't really commit as they don't have Lifestealer. Gotta just, they don't even have TP on, uh, on one of them as well. They're just like, let's go in and let's go. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get the rush. They got it. They grab it up. Artesi steps in like, excuse me, what is happening over here? Makes a move in and he could quickly go down, pops out the Lotus Storm, is barely able to timber chain away. Meanwhile, Mind Control gonna get blasted right there with a Fire Blast and with the chain coming out for Puppy. Buybacks are gonna be forced here from Liquid now. And uh, Kuro, who stepped inside the pit, goes for a stomp. Won't we'll be able to get it off, but Pylite Iron's there waiting for him. Oh, does he get Artesi? He can't wake up. Oh, he's got that splitter. Timber saw. The items they picked up and Alchemist getting gear capped. Now they actually should be scared. They have a reason to be scared because Alchemist got so much armor. Can't just burst him down with a terrible damage anymore. Bottom but everyone walks in there and then it's an insta chrono setup. They're looking for the target, but it's not going to be easily spotted. Fata totally withdraws from this one as Envy runs in. Kuro pops out the time slitter, but it's not going to be able to get connection. So Secret make their move. Arteezy joins our uh, Eternal Envy in making a catch. It's only going to be for Kuro, it looks like, as the others make a hasty escape. Jerix, though, still oh, lingering he has around. He's been spotted, and as you said, he has a gem, which will quickly get snagged up by Secret. Secret managed to take that fight in the end, even though it was a hard commitment on the Alchemist that looked like it could backfire at first. Still get it. Life Stealer and take a big fight. Take a big push in the base. Oh, Kuroki, not again. They check his raxes. Oh, man. No chance at all. Arteezy spots Kuro, and just as fast as he sees him, he gets him killed. And he sees Jerix there, too. He's looking to sidestep the shockers, but he has nowhere to run. He has to run right through him, but he is going to be able to make it back. It's something he needs to soften, but Tumblr is there to assist. Pai's moving in, gets the two, gets the three. Multi Blasts are coming on forward. They're going to be able to get the finish. Look at the army come out from Envy. Going to work on the racks now. No glyphs. He's going to be popped yet. There it's going to be popped now. But a damage, man. It has been done. Arteezy being the gatekeeper, forcing the rest the liquid back it away, but Envy does the real job here and quickly is the demo man. He's already top, he's going for this base. He's running that way, the tier three already had half of its life. Liquid on the verge of not even being contended for tiebreakers and going right into the lower bracket, joining Secret there. One more kill as well, getting the life steal there, really big kickoff. He is out for over a minute without a buyback, and they're Radiant's not done yet. Arteezy looking top. for more. He is gatekeeper of the Fountain of Liquid as he heads right back and out, not allowing him to go anywhere. While, while Envy does the dirty work, the Megas are out, and I think Secret are going to block out Liquid from making it into the upper bracket. Secret with a beautiful comeback here after what has been a very, very hard few days. And look at that smile on their faces. They're they like, needed that. They like, needed finally, that. Finally, we got some good Dota done. They needed a series like that yeah. for a day. <laughs> it was just long overdue for Secret. But the the sad thing is for a team like Liquid, another.